Welcome back to the channel English is all in fishing where we are putting it all on the line. I'm your host Will and we are back at St. George, Utah here at Quail Creek. It has been a hot minute since I have visited Quail Creek but it is one of my favorite spots to visit. It has a gorgeous view and it has plenty full of trout over here. They just stocked it up recently so that's why we're here. We're gonna try to get on some of these stock trout. Hopefully we can catch a big one out here. Sometimes you can get lucky and get a very good sized trout out here. So wish us luck and uh, we'll see how we do today. All right, so in the past, I've known I had really good success with spoons out here, especially these bigger spoons that I could throw out pretty far. So we're gonna try the RHA spoon and see how that works. It's a little bit lighter, so we're gonna see if we're gonna have to go heavier or if it's just enough to get out there. But I have known spoons work really good out here. And of course, power bait works really well out here. There it is. This is the one I slayed over at Baker's Reservoir with. So we're gonna see if we have the same success here. All right, let's see how we do. Alright, no luck with the RHA spoon, so we're going to throw a slightly heavier spoon. I'm going to throw a Castmaster out there, see if they're a little bit deeper. And we're going to throw that on the Okuma Guide Select Pro 7'6 with the Okuma ITX 6 pound braid, Phoenix braid, and a 4 pound fluorocarbon leader. Damn, did I have one? Try to go in the same pocket. I felt something. I don't think it was a ground. I think it was a quick nip. I hope so, because we haven't had a bite this whole time. And honestly, I thought we were going to have much better luck today. So hopefully we find a little pocket. Might have been just the ground. All right, gonna go to the RHA spoon. See if they want that presentation. But I'm thinking I have to move spots again. 
because I haven't seen any activity whatsoever. So I think the goal today is uh, just to keep moving until we find the little, the little honey hole. Right, anglers, this is looking like a two rod kind of day. So I think I'm gonna throw one big spoon out there and try to keep working the lure. And I think with the other rod, I'm gonna just throw some power bait out there with the Carolina rig and see if I can get on a fish because I haven't felt a bite this entire time. So bite's pretty slow. It's gonna try to maximize our chances out here. As for power bait, I don't really carry too much since I don't really use too much power bait. So we're gonna go with the gulp marshmallow. There we go. Throw that out there. And I did bring my auto setter just for this reason. You never know how the bite's gonna go. So this is pretty convenient to have. load it load it like that there it goes all you're gonna do is put your line behind the little trigger then when it starts to run line this will set off and it should auto set the fish even with two rods in the water this spot did not produce I tried it for about another 30 minutes even with the power bait throwing the lure out I wasn't getting any hits whatsoever so that was a good time to pack up my stuff and move to the next spot and see if we had better luck. It's not looking good anglers, it is not looking good. I haven't got a single bite. We keep trying though, we're gonna keep trying. Power bait on the other rod. Didn't go off like I want. Dang it. <sighs> Might have missed it. Dang it, my only action. Try it again. I don't got too much time. I got maybe half an hour before I got to get out of here. Dang. My heart beats beating like crazy. <sighs> Wish we could have got that one because I really don't want to go home with a skunk. That would really suck, especially driving two hours to get out here. But we still got a little time. A buzzer beater. We'll find out. <laughs> Something's got it. Something's got it. Something had it. That is not working. That's all right. Oh. 
Oh my god. The freaking auto setter. Please stay on. Something's on there. Something's on there. Yeah! It's a little trout. <laughs> oh my god, I've never been so happy to see something. <laughs> oh. Where's my dang net? There it is. It was just so little, it couldn't set it off. <laughs> yes! <sighs> I finally got one. No skunk at Quail Creek. Oh, 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 oh shit, oh, I damn near went for a swim, oh, ow, ow, I know it's gonna hurt later, oh, sorry bud, let's get you out of that. And he's gone. Oh, we got one. Ow. Landed right on my ass. Hey, that's gonna do it for us today, anglers, here at Quail Creek, Utah. It was a really, really slow bite. I really wish I got a lot more action for you guys, but it was painfully slow. Try to move around, throw a variety of lures. Last time I was here, they were killing on spoons. They wanted nothing to do with spoons. The only thing that worked, of course, is power bait. I don't like using power bait, but you gotta do what you gotta do. And uh, fortunately enough, I managed to get that little dinker. <laughs> little dinker of a fish but i think any fisherman would agree a dinker beats a skunk anytime any day but that's gonna do it for us but on a serious note uh, i just wanted to thank you guys this is actually the one year anniversary of all in fishing and that's why i chose saint george quail creek because this was the very first episode that i recorded out here and uh i just Woo! I'm getting a little worked up. I just wanted to thank you guys for all the support and continuing to watch the videos and enjoying the videos that I put out. And uh, it means a lot, honestly. Uh, so yeah, that's why I chose Quail Creek. This is a one year anniversary. And I wish it was a little bit better footage, but thank you guys so much. And we're gonna continue to do what we do. Try to put great content for you guys to enjoy and watch week by week hopefully but thank you guys for all your support if you guys like the video and like what we do here on the channel please hit that subscribe button hit that like button uh it's just gonna help the channel continue to grow and we're gonna keep doing what we're doing thank you anglers and uh we'll see y'all next time